DJ TV. Hey guys, welcome to another exciting edition of DJ MTV Daily News Update. Good morning to you, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you, depending on the time zone at which this video got to you. If this is your first time of seeing any of our video or you're a returning subscriber, please do not forget to go yourself further, like this video, share, and subscribe to all our channels. You can also check us out on our website, www.djmtv.news. Let's go straight up into the main news. I will run for Senate, says Oshomole, plus remove, verify, and install emergency rule in Kaduna, Reno tells Buhari, as Gwani and Enugu PDP endorse Wiki. Hey guys, this is still DGM TV Daily News Update. Comrade Adams Oshomole, the immediate past national chairman of the All Progressive Congress APC, has used the occasion of his 70 years birthday to lay to rest speculation about his next political move as he declares his intention to run for the Edo North Senatorial District seat in the 2023 general election. By this declaration, the two-term governor of Edo State would be contending with his Airways British Senator Francis Alimi Keya, who is also seeking a third term in the Senate. Adams Oshomole said he chose to celebrate his birthday with his people, that is, party leaders and others at his Iyamo Esako West local government area of the state because he was conscious of his origin. Oshomole said it is true that for quite some time many of our people have asked me to contest for the Senate, and I replied that first, the All Progressive Congress has crisis. Let us fix the crisis. Let it be convention because you cannot begin to discuss what kind of baby you are going to have when you are not married. I said until the All Progressive Congress is fixed, one cannot talk of contesting election using the platform. Having been chairman of the party, I know the danger we face if we are not able to fix the party. This was completed and consummated on the 26th of March and we have now elected a brand new National Working Committee, NWC, and a brand new National Executive Committee, NEC. Under the able leadership of a former governor, a former minister, and a current senator, Adamu Abdullahi, we have done what we needed to do, and I am inspired by the position of the new leadership for us to do what we need to do to retain power in 2023. I am therefore convinced that this is the right time to proceed to the next step of the conversation which is about who leads the great people of Edo North in the Senate by 2023. Those times that people have been asking me, I have also been examining myself because I do not want to go to the Senate and sit down, listen to motion and collect salary at the end of the month. I do not believe that I need to go to the Senate to take a sabbatical because that is an important decision where men and women are elected by their people to contribute to the affairs that affect their people. Our funds are located and to ensure that the people of Nigeria have value for their resources and money. We lay more emphasis on the rotation of people, but I am more concerned about development. I have made it clear before as president of the NLC that democracy means that the leader must listen to the people and if it deviates from that, people have the right to interrogate the leader. If I did that as the ordinary Nigerian, I believe that as a senator, your interests cannot be ignored in the Red Chamber in Abuja. By my antecedent, I am a believer that this country has come to stay and our business is not to lament the imperfections but dedicate ourselves to the challenge of fixing the nation so that we can create a nation where every citizen will have a basis to be proud that he is a Nigerian. And with your mandate, if I get to the Senate, I will do that. Our leaders from the six local government area have gathered here today to say I should contest. And I believe that with your support, we will get there, he said. 
This is still DJM TV Daily News update. If this is your first time of seeing any of our videos or your returning subscriber. Please do not forget to like, share, and comment on all our videos. Do follow us on all our social media platforms on Facebook, on YouTube, and also on Instagram. Also, check us out on our website www.djmtv.news. Let's go back straight up into the main news. Meanwhile, on other news, President Mamadou Buhari has been told to remove Governor Nasri Erufai as the Governor of Kaduna State and declare a state of emergency in the state without further delay due to the insecurity challenges that is ravaging the state. Renu Omokri, former aide to ex-president Goodluck Jonathan, a social political activist, gave him this advice insisting that Buhari would destroy the Southeast without thinking twice as the train bombing the terrorists happened in that region. Renault was wondering how many persons were killed by the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP before the current administration sent troops to the southeast and allegedly caused untold damage. He, however, doubted Buhari's ability to declare a military rule in Kaduna State because, according to him, the terrorists may expose the president and air of fire. It could be recalled that Kaduna State has been under siege by terrorists who have moved from kidnapping and killing students, attacking military bases and taking over rural areas in the state to attacking airports, train stations and government places. The daredevil terrorists recently bombed the Abuja Kaduna band train between Qatari and Regina Axis, killed passengers and kidnapped as many as they wanted. He wrote in his Twitter page, you think that if a tray was bombed in the southeast Nigeria, Buhari would not have overwhelmed the region with troops? Remember, our troops overwhelmed Olu in Imo last year with helicopter gunships. Why hasn't Buhari sent them to Kaduna? Because he is protecting the terrorists. How many people did the IPOB kill before General Buhari invaded the southeast with Operation Python Dance? Who was killed before Buhari sent Operation Kukudai Smai to the south-south? Now, terrorists have turned Kaduna to a war zone and Buhari is smiling at Asurok. Kaduna is a war zone. The best thing now is to declare a state of emergency and remove the governor, Erufai, whose comment and action have fueled the crisis. But of course, General Buhari won't do it. Why? Because the terrorists may expose him and Erufai, he claimed. This is the DGM TV Daily News updates. Meanwhile, on other news, the Enugu State Governor Honorable Ifa Ugwai and stakeholders of the People's Democratic Party in the key southeast state have endorsed the presidential bid of the River State Governor Chief Nason Wiki in the 2023 election. They gave their nods to Wiki ambition when the River State Governor led the delegation of his supporters across the country on a consultative meeting with the State Special PDP Stakeholders Forum organized by Ugwai at the government house in Enugu. The River State Governor Wiki, who was given resounding reception by the People's Democratic Party Ben Weeks in Enugu, was guest of honor at the special PDP stakeholder meeting. The meeting was attended by several Enugu State PDP leaders, including the Speaker, Honorable Edward Ubosi, and members of the State House of Assembly. Others who participated in the special meeting were the National Vice Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Southeast Zone, Ali Odafa and the Enugu State Chairman of the party, Augustine Unnamani. So guys, here we have it. We have seen that the Enugu State um, Governor and other members of the PDP stakeholders in the state has endorsed Governor Wiki for the 2023 presidential bid to become the next President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Although not forgetting that other persons are coming out too for the position of the President. Uh, not forgetting that the People's Democratic Party, uh, Peter Obi from the Southeast is also vying for that same position. The former Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Atiku Abubakar, is also vying and other persons. But Saraki, Tambua and Bala Mohamed have been trying to move around to see if they could get a consensus candidate. But well, the question Nigerians have been asking is, who would be this consensus candidate if the People's Democratic Party agrees to have one? So guys, what are your thoughts and comments about that? Again, we saw that Adam Oshomole has declared to run for Senate in 2023. And some persons have said that despite the fact that he's in the All Progressive Congress, uh, where um, dictatorship is the other of the day, according to some Nigerians, um, Oshomole is one person who listens to the people and who has the voice of the people. So, um, do you think that Oshomole is going to win for 
uh, the Senate in 2023 representing its constituency. What are your thoughts and comments? Share them with us in the comment section below. Thank you for staying with us till the end of this video. And as a way of reminder, we are also on Instagram and on Facebook at DJMTV. Also, you can check us out on our website, www.djmtv.news. You can also place your advert with us at DJMTV and be rest assured that your business would get to the desired market. Until I come your way with another exciting edition of DJMTV Daily News Update, thank you for watching. Some of the delegates are asked the question. DJ and TV.